Hi, and welcome to the Stock Scores Market Minutes for February 5th, 2018. I'm Tyler, and this is the topic of the week, the coffee shop indicator. Market tops are the time when people who really know nothing about trading are making money and telling people about it. And this can be in the market overall, or it can be in individual sectors that have attracted attention. The number of times that I have heard about cannabis stocks or Bitcoin in coffee shops in the last few months has been um, unbelievable. The difference between smart money and dumb money is the former has been through a correction. If you're in a coffee shop or in a public place and you're hearing that conversation about a trading idea, it's probably a good opportunity to short sell it because that sector is probably near its top and likely to correct. The least experienced are the last ones into a trade and they are also the ones who suffer the most. Well, here is the important chart of the week, the S&P 500 30 day 60 minute chart. And you can see that the upward trend line was broken. We built a little bit of sideways action for a few days and then we had that breakdown on Friday that led to considerable losses. I don't think it's over because when you look at the longer term chart and we've talked about the parabolic nature of this trend line, we are still quite a ways above that upward trend line. And the market would be still healthy if we collapsed down to that trend line. So that is still a fairly significant drop on the S&P. We're looking at, you know, somewhere around 275 down to maybe 260, 263. Uh, still a fairly considerable amount of downside. But with that downside, we don't necessarily have to break the long-term upward trend line. All that's happening is we're taking out that emotion that comes with the parabolic trend to the upside. On the Russell 2000, we had weakness as well, but we are still just holding the upward trend line. I didn't draw that very well. Let's try this again here. That's a little better. And so I expect that we could see a bounce here, but maybe not. I think we could actually test these lows here. So I think still be cautious with the small cap stocks in the US. Moving on to the Canadian market, it has also broken down. We broke through support here and we have been trending lower ever since and actually going a little bit parabolic to the downside, which means it's a little bit overdone. Looking at the longer term chart, we are more or less at the upward trend line, kind of depends how you draw it, but we could sort of go something like that and see that the could have a little bit more downside until it finds support at that trend line. Something to recognize with all of these charts is that we're coming off of highs. We're not coming off of falling tops. And the typical trend reversal will go something like this, pull back to the trend line, try again, make a falling top, and then break down. We're only here right now. And so I expect that we will come back to the trend line, bounce, make a sucker rally, or maybe go to new highs. If it goes to new highs, we're fine. If it doesn't go to new highs and it makes that falling top and then breaks the long-term upward trend line, that is a negative sign for the market. We're not there yet, but something to watch for. TSX Venture with that heavy uh, concentration of cannabis stocks, which have done so well, well, it got hammered in the last week because that sector had some air come out of the bubble. Doesn't mean the story's over for those stocks, but it does mean that we uh, are probably have seen the top in the near term. And there's our trend line there. And I expect that the market will bounce in there somewhere uh, in the next week or so. Treasury bond market, and this is the real culprit for the weakness in the US stock market. And that is interest rates are rising. Expectations for interest rates to rise are there. And so we see that priced in the bond market. We had this, whoops, we had the, uh, I think I did this last week too. There we go. So we had our support. There's a little head and shoulders pattern. We broke that. The thing is though, there's not a lot of downside because we've got pretty strong support right there. We could have another rough week, like I said on the S&P, probably have another rough week ahead of us but it will find support soon and we should get a bounce in the treasuries, which means probably a bounce in stocks. Now, what happens beyond that bounce remains to be seen, but that's something to watch for. US dollar trying to hold the lows. It uh, didn't go to new lows this week and it is oversold. You can see our trend line, something like this. So I think the US dollar could come back up to that trend line soon, 
maybe not next week, but something to watch for. The key though is can it break through that trend line? And as with upward trends, downward trends tend to make a rising bottom first. So we're right there right now. We would have to fall back, make a rising bottom, and then break that trend line. So something to keep an eye on. That's your typical trend reversal pattern. Gold, well, gold with a little bit of stability in the US dollar had some profit taking this week. It was actually more profound in the um, stock market for like gold mining stocks. They had a pretty good sell off on Friday. I would say gold is just encountering some resistance. It could get up into this zone still. Wouldn't surprise me if we get a little rally there yet. And the bottoms are rising still. So it's not a particularly bad market just because we had a little bit of profit taking last week, but I've never really liked the gold market. It hasn't been a strong upward trend this year. It's been sort of grinding its way higher with a lot of whipsaws. So it's not been an easy market to trade. On the oil side, we also had some profit taking in oil, but in the big picture, this is the weekly chart. You can see that we are in a nice upward sloping channel. We've cleared through this resistance. I think we still get up into here, but we may see a week or two of some profit taking, perfectly reasonable given where it has come from. And finally, the chart of the VIX, and this is an important one because it broke its downward trend line. It went sideways for three days like the market, and then it had a big day to the upside with a spike in volume. That shows that investors are getting a little concerned, seeking protection through options and futures. And that is a sign that expectations for more volatility are increasing. So I think that this could continue to be a good short-term trade, but you have to be pretty savvy. And I would trade it off of the intraday chart rather than the daily because it can whipsaw so quickly. So US stocks, long-term bullish still because the upward trend line is in place, but short-term bearish because of that uh, breakdown that happened last week. On Canadian stocks, same situation. Gold neutral on both time frames as it is hitting resistance. Oil bullish long term, but neutral short term as we did get a little bit of profit taking. Air is coming out of the US stock bubble, bubble, sending prices back from parabolic highs toward the long term upward trend line, which still remains intact. And we should remember that we are still in a bull market trend. Canadian stocks off this week as well, but the long term upward trend is still in place, although it's closer to being broken than the US market. U.S. dollar trying to bottom, and that has brought some profit taking to gold and oil, and fear is rising. All right, this week's trade of the week was a day trade I did on Thursday, SWKS. This is my worm strategy. You can see right there it says worm long right there. And there's a pink dot on the chart, which is my action candle indicator. These are all available to you if you are my active trader student. You can go to the Stock Scores website for more information on that, going to the trader training area. But in this particular case, uh, bought it right on the opening candle there and sold it at the end of the day for a little better than six RR. That means this pays for six losers. Well, that has been the Stock Scores Market Minutes for February 5th, 2018. Hope you've enjoyed it. Subscribe to the Stock Scores channel to get instant updates. Click on that little alarm button and you'll get an instant update when I have uploaded a new video. Hopefully you liked it. If so, click on that like button. Have a great week in the market and trade well.